All right, got a fun new game for Switch, PS4, and Steam. And this is from Nalua Studio, who's also offering this on physical Neo Geo cartridges, both NVS and AES formats, special editions as well. But you know what? Many people are just going to play some on a platform. So this comes out today, 20 bucks. I'm showing the Switch version, which was provided to me from the Lewis Studio in conjunction with Stone Age Gamer, who I've worked with and covered some of their products. So very cool. Anyways, here it is: three playable characters, five stages. There's unlockables. There's branching paths, as well as mini games you can find in each stage to break it up. Very colorful game. This is a large Neo Geo game, and well done. And it's a brawler, so I love brawlers. One of my favorite games is Streets of Rage 2 for the Sega Genesis, and I love myself some brawlers. And there's been some fantastic ones released, and it's really nice to see the Neo Geo hardware get aftermarket games. This is well done, this is professional. Um, and so the, this is on the Switch, so it has you know, some side artwork shown on, on the screen. I'm playing this with my son, Justice, who is playing second player and really like this. And so some cool graphics and really enjoy this type of gameplay. And so a lot of little details here. Perfect game to pick up and play right before Halloween or any time. So uh, if you're a fan of Neo Geo Ballers or Neo Geo games in general and you're looking to want to play something new, it's out. And you can play this on modern platforms. So pretty sweet. I think that $20 price point is right. And if you like what you see, I cover lots of different types of games on my channel. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I love making content like to provide content when I can around a business schedule and this is my latest video so I've done over 1400 videos too and I've been doing YouTube a long time providing content all things retro including modern platforms Steam Deck, Switch and more so yeah these are the types of games I like to jump into and enjoy this one and so even though there's only five stages the stages are long well over probably 10-15 minutes uh, per stage, at least for the first stage. And uh, I got to the second stage before I had to go. But just going to mostly show the first stage, the boss. This is a, a second part of the stage. You're kind of in a, like a swamp area. But yeah, nice enemies. Nice animations. There's a third character, Candy, and I'll show that character later in this video. So yeah, let me know in the comments. What is your favorite brawler? Uh, brawler type of this type of game, and why? In the comments. And thank you so much for uh, the ongoing viewership. Many of you who comment have been watching me for several years, and just want to say thank you to those who have stuck with me continue to support my channel which I've done a long time so you can juggle people uh, there's lots of little combos that you can do it does uh, track a hit combo there's power-ups I uh, found some cool power-ups that are pretty neat and so yeah this has definitely got a little little bit of like toxic crusaders vibe to it, it means something like borderlands uh, with the with some of the character Mad Max, and you'll definitely see that on the second stage, and in its own, uh, you know, Robo Army. Um, there's definitely been some inspiration from some other Neo Geo games and, and brawler games and action games. So, in the comments, what does this remind you of? And uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. My son's doing a pretty good job. I'm playing the robot. Each character has a special ability. Um, Justice's character can launch a project. He can launch his hand. And all oh, right, so this is a special item here. I didn't know what it was. Picked <laughs> it up. And essentially, it's it's a it's a pretty heavy weapon where you can essentially decimate a screen, and you have uh, multiple shots, but ten shots. 
yeah, you can, you can get your kind of traditional food on the ground for a punished life. And uh, the, the hit bar is definitely kind of reminiscent of something like out of Streets of Rage. I like that. I like you can tell how much life is left of an enemy. There are continues, at least on standard mode. Um, there are some CRT options if you want to make it look like a traditional CRT display. I didn't show that. Here's the first boss. Pretty tough too. The boss bosses are, are, are not pushovers. You take uh, quite a bit of beating to take them out. Multiple health bars. So it's important that you know that. Fun, fun though. So yeah, this is available now and uh, available on the eShop for Switch, PlayStation, and Steam. And so nice that this is offered, but you can go to the shop. You can check out if you are a Neo Geo card collector. You can check out their offerings on physical. So for those hardcore Neo Geo fans, and I know you're out there, um, you can check this out. And it's available. These types of cartridges are expensive to make and are offered in limited quantities. So uh, as as a Neo Geo collector, I, I I get that. So anyways, thank you so much uh, for viewing this video. Here's the second character, uh, Candy, and we just so happen to pick it. So Candy is kind of a more nimble and fast character. He uses a lot of martial arts and uh, definitely is a, another play style. So yeah, I was able to take out the boss, pretty sweet. So you finish a level and you get a cool like intermission. Shows you how you did. That's cool. That's awesome. Depending on what character you are, it shows that. There's the three characters and then it moves on to the next screen. So if you like what the, you see here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell so I'm uploading videos every week. Folks are wonderful and beautiful. Check this out now. You take care.